It's the classic French onion soup. The amazing cheese bubbling on the top, the gorgeous broth, the sweetness of the caramelized onions. Oh my goodness, you guys have got to try this recipe. It is delicious, I promise you. This takes a lot of onions because once you simmer them, they literally just appear. So I have my onion and you just cut the top off there. And then I'm gonna cut the root off as well. And then you're gonna cut that in half. And then what I do is I take the root out. So basically, if you can see me here, you just cut it at an angle. And then turn your onion around, turn it around. So the lines are actually facing exactly where you're gonna be cutting. And then go ahead and cut, make sure that you tuck your fingertips back you're really just cutting right in the lines. This makes it so much easier for your onions to sweat out and release their delicious liquid. And you know there's that part where it just gets really awkward. So what you can do is you just turn it and then just keep going. I learned that in one of the chef, uh, one of Thomas Keller's books. Slicing these onions might make you wanna cry, but tasting the soup is gonna make you wanna sing. Now for the garlic, if you have a garlic mincer, you can totally use that, or you can also just crush the garlic. One of my little tips is, you see how you have your knife, and when you set it down, there's a little bit of a space because the handle's in the way. So if you step outside of your board and crush it like this, it actually crushes a lot better than if you uh, have your handle on the board. And then what I do is I just do little thin slices. I'll just do both at once here. And then I just get all that over there and I basically just turn the whole pile and then I cut it the other way. And basically, you're minced. It's that fast. So what I love about that is it's one less thing to clean. To start the onions, we're gonna go ahead and melt some butter. It's a lot of butter, but it's also a lot of onions. Now I'm going to add my onions. A little bit of salt and then toss those around so that they get coated with all the butter. And then we're gonna just let these sweat. So I'm gonna cook them on low to medium heat for a really long time until they basically almost dissolve. I'm gonna put a parchment paper lid here and also a real lid. Just helps keep all that steam in. Give these a check. Looking good. These are softening really well. So you're really not looking for color at all yet. We're doing this on low medium. There's a little bit of color, so I even turned it down a hair. This copper gets so hot. Let's check our onions. They are simmering away in here. Our onions are looking great. You do not want to rush these beauties. So I want these to get about like five shades darker before I could even call them ready to go. So I'm gonna turn my heat up and I'm not going anywhere. I'm not gonna Instagram, I'm not gonna tweet. I'm not gonna even think. I'm just gonna stand here and make sure these onions look fabulous. Okay, the color looks great to me. Now I'm going to add the garlic and let that get fragrant about 30 seconds. Now we're gonna pour in the stock. And then our bouquet garni. We're gonna bring this to a simmer until the flavor is really full. Add some salt and pepper and melt the cheese. Okay, everyone, to finish this French onion soup, all you need to do is grab a baguette, make two little croutons, top it with Swiss cheese, put it under the broiler for about a minute until it's golden brown and delicious, and serve it to all your friends and family at a gorgeous table. Done! All right, thank you so much for watching. Give me thumbs up if you liked it, and I will talk to you later.